there's lots and lots of pebbles exposed today. The past few tides, it's been completely covered in sand. So it's pretty exciting because we don't know what we're going to find. I'm hoping because of the rough seas and the bad weather that we've had, there'll be some fresh nodules and they should just be laid on the beach stones. So let's have a look. And I've spotted one very suspicious candidate. So let's have a look at it. There's a lovely nodule here, and already I can actually see an ammonite inside. If you look closely just there, you can see the ribbing of what looks to be a tenucostatum ammonite. So quite a finely ribbed type of dactyloceros, which is pretty cool. Be excited to split that one open. There we are, we've got a perfect split. Let's reveal what's inside. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. That's a stunner. Wow. You see the lovely rich brown shell on it. This is a Dactyloceros tenucostatum ammonite, which is why you've got these lovely, really fine ribs. The usual Dactyloceros ammonites that we find are either communes or athleticums, and the ribs are usually slightly further apart. Whereas this one, you can see they're really, really close together. It's a lovely, really finely detailed ammonite. There's another nodule down here, which I actually walked past. So I'll see if you guys can spot it first. It's just in this patch of stones in this area. So you can see that there's lots of limestone, lots of grey rocks. But you're looking for one that's roughly the palm size of your hand. And nice and round. Sometimes you have to leave it to your imagination and just imagine what could be in each stone. And whether or not it looks like it's going to be a likely candidate to actually contain something. So the nodule is this one here. You can see it's lovely and round. Awesome. Got a little bit of a split, but hopefully this should reveal if there's anything inside. And there is. You can see a lovely tenucostatum ammonite again, just starting to become exposed. And now that we know where the ammonite is orientated within the nodule, we can try and split it roughly along the same line. Give it a few more taps. Put the persistence paired off. And it looks like we've got a lovely split. You can see there the ammonite specimen is gorgeous. If you look really closely, you can actually see the suture patterns, the growth lines of the ammonite shell. In this patch of stones here, there's another really nicely rounded rock, slightly larger than the one that I've just picked up. Let's see if you can spot it. A lot of the material looks exactly the same, so it's quite hard to differentiate between what's going to contain a fossil and what isn't. Okay, so it's actually this nodule just here. See, it's another perfect round rock. And we have a split, and inside, another beautiful ammonite. Look at that. I'm really pleased with how these are turning out. I can already see another fossil. It's incredible, all these fossils just in this small area. Oh, and I can already see an ammonite in this one. You see the edge just around there. Looks like it's going to be a lovely one, this one. We've got a lovely split there. Oh, and it has, and I tell you what, <laughs> that is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, it's split perfect. You can see that the specimen is absolutely amazing. It's situated perfectly in the centre of the nodule as well. I mean, that is just incredible. There's a nodule just down here, or at least I thought it was a nodule. But just from the weight of it, I can tell it's the wrong type of stone. But just ahead of this one, there is another perfect ammonite nodule. Again, spot the nodule. It's in this area. You spotted it yet? Again, it's another perfect nodule, roughly the palm size of, palm size of my hand. You can see I found that many that they're spilling out my hands. <laughs> So again, there's another perfect suspicious nodule. There we are. Oh, wow. We really are getting spoilt today. I mean, this is just such a lovely example. The impression's cracked, but that's not to worry about because it's not the actual fossil itself. I'm not looking forward to carrying all these up the cliff. <laughs> Got some really nice ones today. And let's try the last one. There we are. Another stunning tenucostatum ammonite. Oh, just in time with the waves as well. This one's pretty interesting actually. You can see where there's a bit of a calcite vein that's been running through the nodule and it's actually slightly distorted the ammonite itself. It's actually folded over it slightly. It's pretty unusual. 
So here are a few examples of the fossils that were split open today. There's some really, really nice examples of Tenuicostatum ammonites there. So all of these ammonites are roughly 185 million years old and we're the first person or the first people to actually see them fully exposed. It really is quite surreal. It's been such a lovely hunt today. I'm really over the moon with these fossils. Of course, even if we didn't find anything, it'd still be a lovely day out just to get some fresh air and all of the scenery. But this just makes it all that bit more worthwhile.